Now, latest developments on a school roof collapse in Foster. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us live with the details from the mobile newsroom. It appears officials in Foster have come up with an emergency plan to get students back into the classroom as quickly as possible following that roof collapse last week. Now, the fact that Foster Glosser is a regional school district helped to formulate a plan. Concerned parents jammed into a Foster Firehouse meeting room Saturday to ask questions about where their children will attend school following the roof collapse of the Captain Isaac Payne Elementary School last week. Take our responsibility as parents and grandparents. Turn over to the elected officials, the school committee, the superintendents, and the community to pull together. Could this have been avoided? Yes. That parent's comment is in reference to Thursday's roof collapse over the library at the Payne School after a snowstorm dumped more than a foot of snow. No one was hurt since school had been canceled. During Saturday's emergency meeting, the superintendent gave parents a quick list of contingency plans. He says that students will be back in class on Wednesday. However, while repairs are made, they will bus the 250 students from the Payne School to other schools in Gloucester that have offered to help. The plan at this point uh, is to uh, house grade four and grade five at the middle school and to house K through three at uh, West Gloucester. Most parents are pleased with the plan and the district's response. That's putting their heads together, using their resources, and doing the best they can for the kids. That's in really good time frame. The teachers and seeing familiar faces um, and also you know what we learned today we can bring back to our children um, so that they'll have some predictability. Now at that meeting today parents were also given a tentative bus schedule that won't interfere with the other school schedules. We also learned that part of the building that collapsed was an addition that was built in 1988 and engineers have determined that it will have to be rebuilt. How long that will take they um, do not yet know. That has yet to be determined. But the good news is insurance will cover everything. All the contents that were damaged and the cost of all repairs which certainly came to good news uh, as good news to those parents as taxpayers. Reporting live with the mobile Newsroom Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.